Good day everyone. So for today's lecture, we will discuss first condition of equilibrium. So we will now solve problem in first condition of equilibrium in three-dimensional system. So let, let's try to solve this problem. The three cables are used to support the 40 kilogram flower pot. Determine the force, determine the force developed in each cable for equilibrium. So in this problem, so as you can see, we have four cords here. So we have T1, T2, T3, and T4. Okay? So unlike in our previous problem, so there are no angles here. And T1 can be solved because the mass of the pot is given. So definitely, we can solve for t1 here and if we will solve for t1 so this is for free body diagram one so this is our this dot is our path so we have t1 so the direction of t1 is going up and the direction of weight is going down and so from what we have learned the summation of forces along y since these are only forces on is equal to zero and we have here t1 that is going up minus weight that is going down is equal to zero so whatever your t1 is also equal to your weight so if we will compute for uh, weight so that will be t1 is just equal to mass times gravity and mass is given so that is 40 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second squared so our t1 now is equal to 392 newton we will focus first on t4 okay so for t4 no angles are given so it's just position only so we will get the position points of a and b to get the cartesian vector of t4 for point a so that is 1.5 meters along x 2 meters along y and 0 along z so that is the answer for point d so the position position point d so that is 0 meter along x 0 along y and 1.5 meter along z we have to get the position vector because we have to solve for t4 so to find uh, t4 we cannot use anymore the cosine the the formula for cosine uh, for 4 we cannot use anymore so for t4 we have to solve t4 okay is equal to so this is a force vector t4 that is the magnitude of 4 and its unit vector so for this case we cannot use anymore the uh, formula for unit vector that we used previously which is the cosine alpha i hat plus cosine beta j hat plus cosine gamma k hat we have to find another formula for unit vector in which the in which we have to use in solving the unit vector we have discussed this from our previous lecture so to solve unit vector so we know that unit vector can be solved using r the position vector divided by its magnitude and based on this the position vector here if we will look uh, i already gave the position points so that will be d so this is the end of my vector and this is the origin of my vector so that will be d minus a so in that case so that will be 0 minus 1.5 so that is negative 1.5 meters i hat 0 minus 2 so that is negative 2 j hat then 1.5 minus 0 so that is positive 1.5 meters k hat so the unit of this is in meters okay then divide it by its magnitude so to get the magnitude you will just solve for so that will be rx squared plus ry squared plus rz squared so that will be negative 1.5 squared plus 
negative 2 meter squared plus 1.5 squared. Okay? So, here, the answer for this, so that is negative 1.5 i hat minus 2 j hat plus 1.5 k hat meters. So, that is the unit divided by, so the answer for this for the magnitude is 2.92 meters so divide that one so that will be the unit vector now is equal to 1.5 negative 1.5 divided 2.92 so that is roughly 0 0.51 i hat 2 divided by uh, 2.92 so that is negative 0 0.6 um, 86 so that is 9 j hat then 1.5 divided by 9.2 again so that is positive 0 0.51 k hat okay so this is now our unit vector so our t4 now is so that is t4 is equal to negative 0 0.51 i hat minus 0 0.69 j hat plus 0 0.51 k hat and let's distribute that one so that will be negative 0 0.51 i t4 i hat then negative 0 0.69 t4 j hat plus 0 0.51 t4 k hat now for t1 we already know that t1 is equal to weight and so that is 392 so that is 392 newton now what is the direction of t1 here so if you will look on T1, T2, and T3, so there are no position vectors here. So we can say that T1 is directly going down of um, from if this is the origin, so it's going down, so that is negative K. So my answer here will be negative 392 Newton, that is K hat for T2 that is along going along positive y so my t2 is t2 so this is a force vector so that is the magnitude of t2 so that will be so this is going to positive y so that is j hat and for t3 so that will be going to positive z. so that is t3 the magnitude of t3 and that is i hat now if you are confused on what i have done so you can do this one you can place these stores t1 t2 and t3 and t4 into a free body diagram in which this is the point a is the origin so this one so this is t1 this is t2 t3 and that is t4 and these are the position of t4 if i will place t1 t2 and t3 here so it's very easy to see that t1 is just negative k t2 is positive j and t3 is positive i hat while for t4 for the sake of t4 now if we will place the position here so this will be if this is will be the origin and this is so this is two meters so that is base here this one okay this is 1.5 meters and the height of this is also 1.5 meters in that case if this is two meters 1.5 meters and 1.5 meters the position now position points are so this point a so this is point a a while ago so that is point a so that is zero 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 since that is in the origin while for this one this position d so that is that position d 
it will be so that is negative 1.5 meters along x so that is one okay it's going to the back then negative two meters along y-axis and positive 1.5 meters along z-axis so if we will get the position vector of this so that will be the position vector of this is just equal to so that is 1.5 minus 0 so this is negative 1.5 i hat then that is negative 2 minus 0 so that is minus 2 j hat and 1.5 minus 0 so that is positive 1.5 k hat that is meters so if you will see my solution previously so it's just the same so whether you place these vectors in another cartesian plane it will just give you the same position vector if you like to do this so that you will not be confused on the direction of the other vectors is okay okay as long you follow correct position points and you will get the same position vector okay so let's continue so again we have t1 is just equal to weight which is negative 392 newton k hat t2 is just t2 j hat t3 is t3 i hat okay so let's solve now the summation of forces is equal to zero so let's start so this one negative 392 newton k hat plus t2 j hat plus t3 k hat minus 0 0.5 t4 i hat minus 0 0.69 t4 j hat plus 0 0.51 t4 k hat and that is equal to zero so this time i will start with the forces along z because i know uh, i have here 392 newton k hat so i know i can solve z okay so let's start with the summation of forces along z so that will be the summation of forces along z z is equal to zero so what are the forces along z so that will be so negative 392 newton k hat and this one plus 0 0.51 t4 k hat so i can now solve t4 here since t4 is positive i have to transpose 392 newton k hat on the other side so it will be 0 0.51 t4 k hat is equal to 392 newton k hat and divide both sides by 0 0.51 k hat so 0 0.51 k hat so cancel so this is also cancel so that is t4 is equal to 3 92 newton divided by 0 0.51 so the answer here is 768.63 newton okay so that is now the answer for uh, t4 so what will be my next is forces along y so i have the summation of forces along y is equal to zero so what are the forces along y so this one so that is t 2j and that is negative 0 0.69 t4 j hat so that is equal to zero now since i know t4 i can now solve for t2 so that this will be t2 j is just equal to 0 0.69 t4 j so cancel j so t2 is just equal to 0 0.69 t4 
and that will be 0 0.69 so that will be 768.63 newton and t2 now is equal to okay, 530.35 newton so this is my t2 and lastly if we will now solve our forces along x is equal to 0 so if we will go back here our forces along x are um, this one t 3i hat minus 0 0.5 this is 5 1 51 t 4 I had is equal to zero since again we know what is t4 so that will this will be t3 i had is equal to 0 0.51 t4 i had so cancel both i had so this will be t3 is just equal to 0 0.51 t4 so that is 0 0.51 768.63 newton and the answer for t3 is 392 that is 00, 00 newton so this is now the answer for t3